Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I do the smiley French nail polish. If you like the final result, please keep on watching. I'm using clear top coat, white nail polish, and 100% pure acetone. After soaking my hands in hot water, taking care of my cuticles, pushing them with a metal cuticle pusher, and cutting off the hang nails. And I start painting my nail tips with white nail polish, and it has to be opaque white. I apply the first coat and then apply a second one to make sure that the color is more pigmented, it doesn't look splotchy. I pour 100% acetone in a small bowl where I dip my brush and I start cleaning up my nails in the shape of a smiley French nail polish and I repeat the same process for all of my fingers and don't be too hard on yourself in this process because uh, you're gonna notice that not all of your nails are gonna come out perfect and the smiley line is not gonna be 100% perfect just have fun with it explore enjoy practice the more you do it the better you're gonna get at it so it's good to just have fun take care of yourself consider it as a self-care time for you and as long as they're presentable this is all that matters because they're gonna chip a few days later don't be too perfectionist about it if you're left-handed your right hand is gonna come out much better than your left hand and if you're right-handed your left hand is gonna come out much better than your right hand so it all depends on which hand you're most comfortable working with but eventually it's gonna be a good exercise for working with both hands and it's gonna keep getting better and better the more you practice it's also a good exercise for your brain to be using the hand that you're not very used to working with and it's also therapeutic like the way i think about it is it's a good time for reflection good time to unwind and eventually when i'm done and they dry i feel much better looking at them and seeing that i took care of them and i was able to achieve this result and i know a lot of people don't like to do their nails themselves and they think that they can never get Get their nails done by themselves but believe me it's a matter of practicing and practicing and practicing no one starts painting their nails as a professional imagine you traveling to a foreign country where nail salons are very far from you or you have a quarantine period where you can't see people you can't go out you can't go to nail salons and you want to take care of yourself you want to feel good you want to feel clean you want to feel presentable and you just want to feel good overall if you don't know how to take care of yourself you're not going to be as happy when you want to achieve something and you don't know how to do it well this is the best time for you to learn a new skill and be comfortable with learning new things and teaching yourself things you usually depend on other people doing and some people might think like, no, I don't like to do it myself because I like people doing it for me. So it's all about, you know, mindset. I think of it as power. Something powerful when I learn how to do it myself and I don't have to rely on other people doing it for me. And it's fun. Like just the idea of being able to do a beautiful makeup on your own or, or getting your nails done in a nice way where you make yourself feel better and you look good and you feel good as a result. Why not? I started doing my nails when I was, I believe, 13 or 14 years old. I started growing my nails and getting them done I was so excited about getting my nails done to the point that I used to change my nail polish every single day for a whole summer when I was 14 years old it was crazy I can never do that it was I'm sure it was damaging for my nails because I was super young and my cells were <laughs> were renewing and multiplying so I didn't really feel any damage happening but now I would not expose my nails to such damage and have to paint my nails every single day no 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 it's a waste of time to do it right now but back then it was a good activity for me it actually taught me how to take care of my nails and I rarely depended on nail salons besides the fact that I enjoy doing them myself I also think about the health side of things so I don't imagine myself sitting in a nail salon where 30 or 40 other women are getting their nails done and I'm inhaling acetone, pure acetone and other products and nail polish for over an hour 
or maybe two hours so imagine the wait at the salon then you have the time when they start working on your nails and then by the time your nails are dry and you're leaving the salon it's a lot of a lot of bad chemicals that you're inhaling so i try to save my health from such risks and try to prevent any type of additional you know risk for my health That is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the process. If you have any suggestion for a new nail look or makeup, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'm excited to film the next video for you. Bye guys!